YouTube. This is Nasty Nate. Thanks for stopping into the channel. If you're new today, hit the subscribe button. Check out some cool content coming your way. Today we're polishing some wheels for this Duramax. I'll show you what they are. They are actually 22 and a half by 14 inch Alcoas. If you want to watch my last video, we got them milled down to 22. You can kind of see what we're working on polishing right now. So this wheel, you can kind of see, is pretty bad. Uh, we finished that one back here, right there. And then that one still needs it. This one we're working on right now. So when I get to that point, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to polish a wheel just like this. Uh, first, I did it like an unboxing video a couple days ago with all the products that I purchased to do all this. So I'm going to put that video in right here and then we'll get to polishing these wheels and we'll do some kind of cool like uh, clips on what they look like when they're done. Stay tuned guys. Alright, this is what I ended up buying from Zephyr. I got their rake. I got the, I forget what this thing is called, but it goes on a drill. I'm going to use it to go in the holes on these wheels right here. I think that'll be a pretty good way to do that. I got a two inch arbor extension, the three rouges, I started with the TR2 Tripoli, I think that's what it's called, the moss green, then the blue moon, I'm going to use the quick cutting wheel, then the uh, joker wheel, and then a cotton, uh, I think it's called the showstopper, oh yeah it says right there, so I'll use one rouge for each wheel so we don't contaminate anything. We got the safety flanges for the buffer and the airways. Uh, that's everything I got from Zephyr. I kind of wish they sent me like a sticker or something because that'd be cool if you guys are watching this. Start sending out stickers because you got some badass stuff and I know you guys want to show it off. All right, you can probably tell because I'm super dirty, um, obviously. I've been polishing the, the other two wheels behind me. The one on the far side I already had done, but these three are completely done right now and this one i'm gonna take you guys on like a step-by-step -step how to do this so first we want to sand out as much as the as much of the pitting as we can so i've got these sanding blocks which are like these sponge things and uh i got these at harbor freight they work really well for this so so we're going to start by wiping it down with lacquer thinner to get all the tar and stuff off and then we're going to sand with this and we'll be ready to polish so hang on. Okay we got our lacquer thinner. I'm just going to use this cheap uh, towel. I think it's called a terry cloth. You can buy a pack of them for a couple bucks but I'm just going to wipe this wheel down. If I notice any tar like right here we'll kind of scrub that out until it comes off and then We'll be ready to sand. So once you get your wheel sanded, it'll look like this. Um, sorry, it just started pouring outside. But this sanding block, it, it almost gets like a more like a finer grit as you use it because it just gets kind of clogged up and it kind of loses its its abrasive. But uh, once you're happy with everything. Basically what you're looking for is, if you see this spot right here, it's, that's kind of like a deep gouge. I don't know, it's kind of hard to see, but basically you just want to get to like 600 grit sandpaper. Uh, that's pretty much what this is. And your buffer wheel will take out all those sanding marks. Now, if you want the pitting out, see, kind of... Let's see if I can get a decent angle. It's kind of spotty. When you see the, the reflection, it's kind of spotty in some areas like that. That's because these wheels were so pitted when I got them. Um, so, I mean, they're not perfect, but from even a foot away, they look insanely good. So, I'm going to leave them like that. Um, if you want any of that pitting out, you just have to keep sanding until they're completely smooth. So that's kind of a personal preference. Like if, if you want show wheels, you're gonna have to sit there and 
sand like crazy until every imperfection is out and the only imperfections are made with your sandpaper. So as far as that goes, this wheel is pretty much ready to polish. Um, this lip right here, this ring that goes around, I actually made some sanding blocks. Um, this is 320 grit sandpaper I just stapled to a piece of wood and I'm gonna just kind of go around the wheel like this to keep that lip flat and then i'm also going to do it on this edge like this and i did that on all three of those wheels already because i want to polish this part of the lip too in case you see any of that when the tire is on it so it doesn't look like crap when you put the tire on there's like a, a part that it looks like you missed so i'm going to go ahead and do that and this and then we'll be ready to polish all right guys, my buddy has a tire machine. So I put some microfibers down on the uh, clamps. Because both of these... Let me get this set. Both sides are polished. So we don't want to damage the back side too much. Um, but this is kind of nice because I get to spin the wheel uh, while I polish. And then I can just hold the buffer kind of on one in one spot and I'll spin the wheel uh, while the buffers doing the work so the first thing you want to do is get your orange cutting wheel this is the quick cutting wheel it's got orange and yellow on the inside it's kind of alternates I think um, but these are the three wheels I'm using I'm, I'm starting with the orange or the quick cut then the joker wheel, and then the showstopper uh, cotton, I don't even know what it's called, showstopper wheel. But the orange wheel is going to be with the brown TR2 Triple E compound. So I'm going to get the buffer set up, and we're going to start polishing this wheel. Don't think you need a tire machine or anything like this, because I actually did one of the wheels completely without this while it was on the ground. And... I kind of just took the buffer and kind of went back and forth like this, up the wheel, moved spots, did the same thing here, went back, did the same thing here. And obviously if you're polishing, you might not have this deep of a lip or whatever. You might only be doing this, so which is pretty unnecessary for a tire machine. So when I do the face like right here, um, I don't spin the wheel at all because it, it just spins a little too fast and it gets kind of sketchy if you catch the buffer wheel on one of these holes kind of flies out and gets kind of sketchy but let's get to polishing and uh, you guys will see it in the end. Once you guys get your wheels polished with the buffer, the last step is going to be to just take some metal polish. Uh, I find white diamond to be a pretty good uh, metal polish. It's relatively cheap. Uh, Zephyr products is also really good. Uh, just take this and shake it up pretty decent. And we'll just put it on a microfiber just like that. That honestly might even be too much. But I'm going to take it just on the microfiber like this and we're going to wipe it across the whole wheel just like this you don't need really any pressure and you're just going to kind of do this until the polish turns black you'll see it start to turn black on your towel once it turns black we can buff it off with the microfiber just by hand and it'll look really good after that so once it's once it's all black like that you'll just take your microfiber and just kind of put a little bit of pressure on it and just buff it off like this and it'll look fly so we're going to do all these we'll get them ready So I got all four wheels done. That's pretty much all there is to it. Make sure you guys take your time and they'll look really good. Make sure you subscribe to Nasty Nate. 
to see these wheels on my Duramax, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks. Peace. Bye.